So in the next example, uh, they're asking us to graph y is greater than negative 2x minus 5, and y is less than or equal to x plus 3. OK, um, so when doing a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing that we're going to need to do is, again, identify the x and the y-intercept for each problem. So what I like to do, x is negative 2x minus 5. If I'm having trouble with this, I'll just write them out separately so I can identify the slope and the y-intercept. Remember, slope and y-intercept come from the equation y equals mx plus b, where your slope is basically the value of m and your y-intercept is really your value of b. And that's really about it. But remember, the way that I like to write them is I always like to have slope as a, as a ratio or a fraction, rise over run. And I always like my y-intercept to be written as a coordinate point, because that tells me I need to plot the y-intercept. So all we're simply going to do is identify what the slope is. So, once you, so for the rest of the problems, once you solve for y, and you have y by itself, then you can identify the slope and the y-intercept. Now, in this equation, you can see my slope is not a fraction. So to create a fraction, I'm going to rewrite it over 1. So I'll say my slope, in this case, is negative 2 over 1. And my y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 5. Over here, we don't even have a number in front. So you guys need to understand that we can rewrite that as 1 over 1. Because 1 over 1 times x is still the same thing as just x. So I'll write my slope is 1 over 1. And my y-intercept is 0, comma, 3. Anybody have any questions so far from here? Haven't even gotten to graphing yet. Just been labeling. So if you have trouble with graphing, my recommendation is to go through these steps. It takes a little bit longer, but it really gives you full proof of everything you need to graph. Because now, all you do is plot the y-intercept. 0, negative 5 is down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 0, negative 5. Then I follow my slope where the negative can be up top or on the bottom. Doesn't matter. It can be down 2 over 1, or it can be up 2 to the left 1. I'm going to go up 2 to the left 1. Now, when graphing inequalities, we're not concerned about where the two lines intersect. We're concerned about where their regions, their feasible regions, intersect. So I'm just going to connect two points. Oops, shoot. That's greater than, right? Why'd you go up when it's negative? OK. Let me ask you a question. Are those all true? Huh? Is negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to what? Is 4 divided by negative 2 equal to? Negative 2. So when I write a negative symbol in front of a fraction, it doesn't matter if you put it at top or on the bottom. Does that make sense? So yes, it is a negative 2 over 1. But negative 2 over 1 is the same thing as positive 2 over negative 1. Same thing. So I just didn't want to go down 2 over right. But you can definitely do that as well. I just decided to go up to, to the left one. Does that make sense? Just remember that your negative slope is still going to be going down. So the mistake that I made, though, right, so was that the, this is a greater than. So it should be a dashed line, right? So you create a nice little dashed line. Then to determine where should I shade, um, since my inequality is solved for y and it's greater than, I know that it's going to go above. You could also use the test point, what? 0, 0. Okay? But I'm just trying to make this a little bit quicker. Then we go over here. First thing we do is we find the y-intercept, which is 0, 3. 1, 2, 3. Then I use the slope 1 over 1, which you could also do as negative 1 over negative 1. So I'd be down 1 to the left 1. But I'll just go up 1 over 1. And then that's less than or equal to, so that's going to create a solid line. And again, since y is equal to, it's less than or equal to. By using test points, I would be able to determine that I'm going to shade below. 
then you guys can see that the region where both of my graphs intersect, where are all my markers? Are you serious? Somebody's still oh, there. They are. So this would be your feasible region. We will be talking more about feasible regions later, but just trying to introduce it to you guys.